President Matt Branham will offer remarks to the graduating class of 2011. To the Rose Holman Institute of Technology class of 2011, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, the faculty, and the staff of Rose Holman, and as president of our school, allow me to be the first to congratulate you on your graduation from one of the finest institutions of higher education in the world. I remember the day I graduated from Rose Holman like it was yesterday. At the time, I thought the best thing I would ever see in my life was an image of our school in the rearview mirror. I was glad to be done with finals, and I was glad to be leaving here. And as a newly minted graduate, I thought nothing could ever be as hard as the academic challenges I had faced here. I was wrong. There have been many difficult challenges along the way. But thanks to the intellectual rigor I faced here, I never shied away from those challenges, and I rarely failed. I had the confidence that grows from this unique four-year experience. I knew that if anyone could succeed at any task laid out before me, it would be a Rose graduate. And that is one of the reasons I was eager to come back here because of the deep respect that grew over time as I came to fully realize the value of what I had learned while I was here. Today, I stand before a new class of graduates, and I hope all of you are looking forward to bright futures with stars in your eyes. I suspect many of you are feeling like I did on that day when I graduated 32 years ago, ready to take the world on and just eager to put this phase behind me. You came to us with the greatest potential of any class the college had ever recruited. But like a potter's clay, you had yet to be formed. You had survived the heat of the oven to become useful for the purpose of mankind. And so your professors provided all the heat you could take. Their efforts pushed you into many late night study sessions, into tests you worried about passing, past cups of coffee you worried about drinking, the challenges that may have from time to time undermined your self-confidence. But you succeeded. You, the class of 2011, have taken the heat. You were transformed into the thing that mankind needs most, brilliant, well-trained, Rose Holman graduates. Your new self-confidence is real, and it's well-earned. The world awaits, as it has many problems that you will be called upon to solve. For my generation, the greatest dangers and challenges facing the world were political, social upheaval, equal rights movement, the Cold War. It seemed like half of the world was bound and determined to annihilate the other half of the world. Well, we survived. Whether it was by political skill, luck, good rock and roll, or the grace of God, we're handing over a world to your generation that is a little bit safer, a little bit healthier, a little bit fairer, and a lot more complicated than the one we inherited. Today, the greatest dangers and challenges are dwindling resources of energy and food and water and the clean environment and medicine. And while some of these issues have roots in political, it is even more certain that they have technological solutions. You, the members of Rose Holman Class of 2011, are better prepared to tackle these problems than anyone else. You have the brightest minds, and now you have the best training. As Dr. Kaku has written, science will shape human destiny and people's daily lives. And you are about to become the shapers of a technological revolution. 
that only the most visionary among us, like perhaps Dr. Kaku, can imagine. I have total faith that you will succeed, because if anyone can do it, I know that a Rose graduate can. Someday, I hope you come back to visit. Perhaps you'll return as an outstanding professor, or an administrator, or perhaps as a trustee, or an alumni supporter. When you come back, you'll see that the students here need you. Your mind, your discoveries, your experiences will be invaluable to them. I hope I'm still here when you come back to hear tales of extraordinary adventure, incredible inventions, and how you mastered the challenges that you faced with your Rose Holman education. It will be okay to brag a little when you come back. It's okay here. You will have earned the right. You will have earned that elite sheepskin you hold in your hands that gave you the credential to tackle any problem before you. You'll leave here today with the hopes and aspirations and the dreams of your parents and your professors and your fellow Rose alumni. You will carry with you our tradition of excellence. The world will look to you for the technological solutions that will make it a better, healthier, and safer place for the next generation. I know that's a heavy load to carry, but you have endured the heat and become the vessel of these expectations. A Rhodes graduate can do it. Later today, many of you will view Rose Holman in your rearview mirror. Just as I did, you will be happy to leave this phase behind you. I believe, however, that it won't just be behind you. Rose Holman will be in you. Godspeed to all of you.